morning everyone i'm aubrey morrell with morrell designs and i'm coming to you from hydro oklahoma it is right off of route 66 i don't think i've ever told you guys that um so i have a kiln opening today again as always there's not much in here because it's not a very big kiln the bottom row is or the bottom shelf is all the same thing um i am mass producing <laughs> at this point um, I've signed up to do a fair of the heart at the end of the year. So everything that I'm making is, um, the goal is to make it for that, but I will be adding these to my online store. Um, and then whatever sells, sells, what doesn't will go to the show with me. And I'm just going to continue to crank things out in the meantime. Okay. I'm just going to get to it. And then, oh, I forgot my, oh, it's going to be hard to get past all these lights. My notes. Sorry, I was unprepared. But we're back. And I got these big soft box lights. They are very bright, uh, which is annoying on the glasses, but um, it'll hopefully show you the pieces really well. So, let's see, I was afraid that this top piece would be really drippy. So I'm, it's a chip and dip bowl. Let's see. The kiln is at about 100 degrees, so I think we're good. I stilt, because I was afraid it would drip. Okay, it is not at all what I <laughs> was expecting. Okay, this is kind of complicated. Um, so I did two coats of obsidian two thirds of the way down. So obsidian, two coats here, and I stopped two thirds on the inside. Um, actually, no, I guess I went all the way down with the obsidian because it's shiny. And then two thirds down the bowl portion. Um, and then I did matte, satin matte black in the part that did not get obsidian. So like this is matte black, the bottom third um the inside and then the bottom third of that um once i got all of the black on there i did albany slip uh which i just got i haven't had that before that's a new glaze for me um the top one third of it uh three coats and then smoky merlot times three on top of that so it is not what I anticipated because there was someone that posted theirs on Facebook and I loved it so much, but this is not at all what hers looked like. <laughs> it didn't have, hers didn't have any pink in it. It was like drippy gray and black and white. Is the, how is this lighting? How do we feel? Can you see? It's hard for me because anyway, you'll have to let me know if these lights work better. Anyway, okay, so it did not crack. It looked great. Successful chip and dip bowl. Yay. <laughs> okay, um, I also bought uh, a jungle gems that I was interested in uh, firing to cone six, five, six, whatever. Uh, ink spot. I thought it just kind of reminds me of Dalmatians, but. Um, yeah, I wanted to try it on something and I had thrown a spoon rest in the sitting over there. So that is ink spot fired to cone five and a half, really. And then what did I put on the outside? Deep fire brick, red. And then the ink spot kind of went over the edge just a tad. So that's what that little running is. I wonder if I should this way towards the line more. I don't know. Can you see it? This one could be taller or tilt it up more. We'll figure this out someday. Do y'all have as much trouble with the lighting as I do? I have zero natural lighting in my shop. So I have to rely solely on the lights that I bring in and it has been a struggle. Um, anyway, yeah, ink spot and fiber. Right. This was a kind of a tester and it's not completed yet. Um, so I did, I don't know if you could see that. Yeah, there you go. Um, I did 
Saks True Flow White Underglaze. Three coats of that on this at Bisque, at Bisque stage because I didn't do it at Greenware stage like I normally do. Um, so three coats of the underglaze. And then I went in with clear and made like leopard print. You guys have seen me do this on black underglaze before. I wanted to try it on white. And then I'm going to go back with Mother of Pearl and add Mother of Pearl to all of the leopard print and just see, I was curious what that would look like. So it's kind of blah at the moment. I don't know. I don't know if I love it yet. Hopefully with the Mother of Pearl, it'll be nice. This is um, Mako's Pink Gloss and it's cute. It's like a bubblegum pink. Why is it so dark with all these lights? Anyway, okay, <clears throat> there's that. And this one fits in a cup holder, the shape. A lot of people have liked this shape and I don't blame them. Okay, a ramen bowl. I made a ramen bowl as a tester and it uh, has views to the, oh, love it. I can get that off. It stuck to the cookie a tad, so we'll clean that up. Um, Again, it did not turn out like I had thought it would. So this is four times of black walnut. I'm afraid to touch the bottom because it's kind of sharp. Um, four times black walnut <clears throat> all over the outside, which I love black walnut. It is such a rich color. I love it. <clears throat> it's, it's like a deep, deep brownish black color. And you can see where it kind of stuck. So I'll just grind that off a little bit. Not a big deal. But I did a inset foot for this, um, tried to make it lighter. And then uh, on top of the black walnut, there's three coats of green tea. You can see where it stops, obviously. I should have put more, I think, more green tea. And then I just did green tea on the inside. I put three coats and look at that patchy. I don't know if I should refire this or not. Yeah, I wish that was a more of a solid green. Green tea is such a pretty glaze, but that, I don't, I don't care for that. I wish I could, maybe I'll try to add the reference photos that I was <laughs> looking at so you can see like not what I intended. Anyway, I'm happy to have a ramen bowl. I'm going to be making a bunch of those for the show. Um, my daughter, my middle daughter, made this. I don't know what she put on it. Um, it says, I love you. It is for her Mimi, my mother. Cute. She used satin matte glazes. I just don't know which ones. Okay. And then there's all of these bee mugs. Um, so this is what I was working on. Um, this is the tallest one. So I had to put it on the top, top shelf. I didn't like use a throwing gauge or anything for these. I didn't, that wasn't my point. Um, I just wanted the general shape and, um, maybe I should have <laughs> just so I could put them online and not have to make a bunch of different listings, but they're all the same shape. They're just not exactly the same as each other. So this was the tallest one out of them, but aren't they just love them? Mm, I've made these before. You've seen them. Okay. Let me get this shelf out. If you guys have not used Mako's Kiln Wash yet, that's a game changer. I was using all kinds of other ones and they would flake after like one firing. And this one has been through several and it's still just like perfect. Anyway. Oh, I do have a couple tumblers down here. Let's get through the bee mugs and then I'll show you the last two. They were kind of test glaze testers. Sweet. do more one at a time so they're all the same kind of shape they're just not exactly the same aren't they cool it does yeah so pretty Two more after this. <clears throat> I think I've made videos on how I do this scrapita, so if you're interested, you can go back and look at those videos. 
but those are the last two. I made 10. Okay, let's see. All right, that's pretty. All right, this one, I like it. It is two times thick river birch to about here. Gosh, river birch is so pretty and on the inside. And then, and then three times rose quartz over that, they overlapped. But look how it just kind of melted into each other. That's gorgeous. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Very pretty. Anyway, a friend of mine was wanting an oil pourer. She has a pink spoon rest, so she wanted a pink-ish combo. So this is the same pink that I used. I was trying to come up with a combo for her. We'll see if she likes that one. Maybe go up farther with the pink. But I like it. And then, ew. <laughs> I don't like this one. <laughs> And then again, it does not look like it was supposed to look. And so I got, I pulled this from the, um, from the Mako glaze combinations on their website. Ew. Okay. It is three times Norse blue over all of it. Is that a, nope, nothing. Um, and then two times indigo rain on the top half and inside. Maybe I should have done one more indigo rain because where it got thicker, it kind of did this melty thing. I think I was afraid it would run a lot. I think it's supposed to be more like that stuff there, but uh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> that might get refired. Well, it was a tester. I, you know, uh, when I don't throw for a while, usually the first thing I throw is a sacrifice and <laughs> I end up messing up. So whatever's left after I rip off the messed up part, I make something with because why not? So it has become a tester, but anyway. Okay, uh, that was all that was in there. I told you it was short and sweet. Um, but since you're here, oh, you can see my faces. Okay. Coming up, I have uh, you guys have seen these. I made these before. It's been a while. These will be, it'll be pink with uh, teal and green cactus glazed on there. Like six of these. And then I've got six different face mugs. Uh, that's, this is one of them. And then the two that you can see there. And then I've also got 10 of these. And these are going to be all winter wood with satin patina on the cactus. And then I'll figure out what to put on the inside. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to show you all the face mugs. You'll see them soon enough. And then I'm working on a couple of Taylor Swift items. Um, I'm actually not, I'm not a Swifty, but my daughter is. So we hear all about it all the time. And so I'm making a Taylor Swift series. And I had to be very careful on how I made them because she has trademarked everything. So they are inspired, not, I don't have her lyrics. I don't have her song names, um, but everything on them signifies her music. So hopefully I don't get in trouble for them <laughs> and hopefully you guys like them. So once I have time to get them glazed because they will take me a long time to glaze, there's a lot of pieces on it. Um, you'll get to see those and then my thoughts and my hope is when I'm done with the series, I'm doing one for each album, I will auction them off and see how that goes. Anyway, uh, that'll be it for now. I've got more glazing to do. These are some big bowls I need to glaze, Taylor Swift stuff. And then once these get bisked, all that. And then <clears throat> um, I'm working on some more Scraffito in the house right now because I try to do that inside so I can be inside with my family. Anyway, I'm rambling and I need to go get ready for work today. So I will see you guys soon and thanks for watching. I appreciate you and bye. <laughs>